It looks like the Bitcoin market is about to go through a full parabolic surge. So far, only joke coins and a few smaller projects have really taken off. But in this video, I'll show you why XRP, one of the cryptocurrencies that gains the most from this institutionally driven boom. This is not my voice saying it again. Here are some statements from big banks that make it clear that the way cryptocurrencies solve banking problems would completely change the way things work now. This video is something you shouldn't miss. I also want to talk about a really shocking event that happened earlier today that has to do with Ethereum security. Good afternoon. Here's something that happened in our government earlier today that really makes me wonder what's going on behind the scenes. I never thought this would happen. To start this video, I'd like to talk about something that happened earlier today that makes me think the SEC might try to classify Ethereum as a security. For a while on this channel, I thought that the SEC wouldn't do this. The main reason I thought that was because the agency was seriously involved in a lot of Ethereum-related scandals. I had no idea they would dig up their own grave and reveal everything they had done with Ethereum's free pass in the past. It looks like all they want to do is act like that didn't happen and sweep it under the rug. For that matter, why bring it up at all if you want to act like it never happened? The CC said that Ethereum is not a security, but most of the market seems to have moved on from that. However, I want to show you that it looks like the SEEK is trying to describe Ethereum as a security behind closed doors. Today at a meeting in Congress, the head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is talking on this video that I'm going to show you. People, it no longer feels like guesswork. It looks like the head of the CFTC knows about Gary Gensler's plans to change the way Ethereum is developed so that it becomes a security. This really shocks me. Pay close attention, registrants, and exchanges that offer Ether as a futures contract would be breaking CC rules instead of CFTC rules if the SEC does anything to make that choice official, which would mean declaring Ether as a security. As a result, I am working with Chair Gensler. We work together with his office. Together with the agency, we're making sure that any steps are well thought out, that we are kept in the loop, and that they know what could happen if they decide that Ether is a security. As of right now, we need to keep our markets honest and remember that they have been working well for years since it was decided that Ether is a commodity. Now, this short clip should show you that the head of the CFTC is a very smart person. This person is really doing his job, which is to make sure that the Bitcoin market has clear rules so that it can work properly. From the way he's talking, I think this man has been doing his job, which is to successfully go after con artists while also setting rules that companies must follow. He seems to be wondering what Gary Gensler is doing. As your office has already said, Ethereum is not a security. How are you going to walk that back? The CC isn't sure what to do about this decision and is acting like it doesn't matter. The head of the CFTC is saying in public that these traders are already registered with the CFTC to trade Ethereum futures. How are you going to futures? How are you going to walk that back? All of these people in the business thought you wouldn't change your mind after a few years when you said Ethereum was not a security. Guys, this just shows how disorganized the SEC is. Investors are not being protected by the SEC very well. As this video clearly shows, the CFTC commissioner is basically saying that the SEC would be hurting investors because these Ethereum-related exchanges are already registered as CFTC commodity dealers. This whole thing is a joke. Another reason is that this way of controlling the market doesn't make sense no matter what happened with Ethereum at first. I totally agree that the people who made Ethereum should be held responsible for their original coin offering. I agree with you 100% that consensus sold stocks at the start and that they should be held to the same standards as Ripple. It is silly to think that Ethereum is a protection in and of itself, though. XRP is not a security in general. To be clear, Ethereum is not a protection by itself. To be clear, Ethereum is not a protection by itself. The SEC also shouldn't give advice to people who change their minds after a few years. It's not funny at all. Also, the fact that the head of the CFTC has to talk about these things in public is a shame for everything going on in the US. One good thing that this may teach us is that not all of our government members are like Gary Gensler. Not every government official is dishonest. Several government departments seem to be aware of what's going on and know how important it is to follow good rules. After reading this, I can only think one thing the SEC is totally crazy. Now, I want to quickly talk about why I think this market is going to blow up. As interesting as it is to talk about the SEC story, I really don't think it will matter in the future. No one takes them seriously anymore. It is clear that they are doing everything they can to get more political power. From what we've seen, they used to have a lot of bite. They used to be able to really scare projects and wipe out their market caps. But now people just don't care about them at all. I also think that the 2024 bull market will be a huge embarrassment for the SEC. Take a close look at this. In just a few months, $50 billion has already been put into the Bitcoin ETF. Also, I want to be clear about this on this channel. It will go on after Bitcoin. Blockchain was the first step. 
Banks that use Bitcoin were the ones that entered this market. Bitcoin was the first company to say, this is how we deal with cryptocurrencies. But they will finally want more. The astounding success of the Bitcoin ETF only serves to show how many new and exciting Bitcoin goods are still to come. Hey guys, these big businesses don't follow maximalism. That Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency is not what they say. This is making these big companies say, wow, our clients love this. We are giving them to them first class for these fees. Which ATF comes next? What's the next thing? In the future, how can we use blockchain technology? Because of this, people have no question at all that assets like XRP will rise in value. But that's not the end of it. Check this out. It will make the differences between XRP and Bitcoin in this market very clear. Guys, Bitcoin is what digital gold means. I think you mean to call it a collector and an inflation head. That's great. It can be built up as an advantage. It's mine by me. It doesn't matter. A lot of people have Bitcoin. But a lot of people have Bitcoin. But Bitcoin hasn't been able to fix the problems with the way our money works. Cryptocurrencies make the systems track stronger. They make it easier to send money to people all over the world. Besides that, Bitcoin won't be able to fix that. When it comes to being a digital gold and inflation hedge, a valuable XRP is just like Bitcoin. If you compare XRP to Bitcoin, which has a fixed amount, you'll see that Bitcoin has stronger tokenomics or is a better inflation hedge in many ways. Fans say that XRP can be used as a hedge against inflation or as a treasure. Um, it can do everything that Bitcoin can do, but Bitcoin will never be able to completely change the way money works. Here's a quote from Morgan Stanley that will help you understand that I'm not just guessing about XRP's chances of doing well in the banking industry. Some big names in cryptocurrency have said that every bank will use XRP, but that's not going to happen. Take note of this. This comes from one of the biggest groups in the world. Morgan Stanley, one of the most important financial advisors in the world, says that cryptocurrencies will completely change the world's financial system by 2024. The foreign system is changing a lot because coins are more reliable and it's easier to combine different payment methods. Hey everyone, this is Morgan Stanley. That information comes from a big group that runs the current trains. Some big banks are starting to understand that cryptocurrencies are more than just ways to trade. It's not just a way to protect against inflation. Big businesses are aware that cryptocurrencies will completely change how we move money from one place to another. No, not private blockchains, but currency. No, not private blockchains, but currency. Guys, this is exactly what XRP was meant to do from the start, cause trouble. According to Ripple, this is where XRP is. In this new banking system, this is the main way that XRP will be used. Big businesses know what's going to happen. They are making it clear. Because of cryptocurrencies, the banking system will change, and XRP is the best coin to make that happen. People, this change is going to happen quickly. Rules have stopped us from moving forward. We've been held back because the big companies you know haven't been able to get into this market the way they wanted to. That will soon change, though. When this happens, I think XRP will be the clear winner. To wrap up, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to quickly show you the XRP price chart to show you how quickly things can change after the terrible red day we had the other day. You can see that the bad day we had the day before has completely turned around, putting us back at the top of this triangle instead of just saying the same things over and over. That's great that this is all over. We'll be able to touch down. We are still able to get to the top, even though we are constantly pushing against this high barrier. There's only one more thing we need, guys. One thing needs to go on sale for this to really take off. I think that most of the other coins are starting to really take off.